And now Forest Park Police are investigating employee at Winton Woods City School District. This is after a police report was filed alleging the employee sent inappropriate text messages to a 14 year old student. Taylor Davis is following the story. She's live with more. What I know is the police report is very vague and there aren't a lot of details. I spoke to one parent who has many questions about how this has been handled. My concerns go not only for my daughter, but as far as the, the rest of the school as well. Um, I don't feel that the school handled it properly. That's the voice of a concerned parent who doesn't want to be identified, but is questioning Wittenwood City School District after a police report was filed at the Forest Park Police Department. The police report alleges a school employee sent inappropriate text messages to a 14 year old student. The messages were allegedly sexual in nature. At this time, we're choosing not to name the employee as they are not currently facing charges. I went straight to the school. Um, the school was closed, but I seen people in the office looking at me outside the door and they would not let me in, nor would they um, talk to me about it. The report was filed on Monday. Wittenwood City School District Superintendent Anthony Smith sent us a statement that reads in part. I am sure that you can imagine the sensitivity of this allegation. However, communication has been made to all parents of students that may allegedly be involved in our protocol. When anything happens like this with any student is to immediately remove the employee from their position while the investigation is underway. Again, at this point, it's unclear if the employee is facing any charges, but we know police and the school are both looking into the allegation. It's also unclear if any other students are involved or impacted. Why is, is nothing being said to the other parents? Or, and why is it just, why does it feel like it's just being swept up under the rug? Again, we are still following this story to see if any charges will be filed. Taylor Davis, Fox 19 Now.